Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Callie's Kingdom. I know I'm filming in the car again, and I haven't done that for a while, but that is because I have a new exciting video. Oh my gosh, I'm like filming in front of the library and I always get so weird when I see people. I'm like, hopefully they don't look in my car and then see me talking to supposedly no one because that would be awkward. But anyway, so for this video, I'm going to do a 12-hour readathon. So you might have seen other people do like 24-hour readathons on YouTube. And I really do not have the time for a 24-hour readathon right now. Nor do I want to stay up all hours in the night just to read as much as I love reading. So I'm doing my own twist on it, and I'm pretty sure 12 hour readathons are a thing too. So, and I'm not doing this 12 hours straight. So over the next couple days, I'm going to try to read a lot more than normal to get in my 12 hour readathon, and I'm going to start a timer on my phone. And yeah, so it's going to be broken up. So today I'm going to start it. It is Wednesday the 19th, and I'll get to do a lot more tomorrow as well because I have nothing planned. On Friday, I have a lot going on with my friends and a sleepover and a hike with them. And it's going to be really fun. So I'm not going to read a lot then. And on Saturday, I have like a little sister day planned with my sister. So probably not then. But Sunday, I'm free. And then Monday, I don't think I have anything. So just over the next couple days, however long it takes me, I'm not going to put pressure on myself. I am going to do this. So today we're starting it, and I'm starting off with the first book, Nine Liars, which is the fifth book in the Truly Devious series. And those books are just such easy, nice reads. Um, they're like co almost cozy mysteries, even though there's a lot of murder involved. They read more cozy, but it's also a little bit suspenseful as well. So I'm excited to get to the fifth book because I read the back and I was like, oh, this sounds really good. So the main character, Stevie, is studying abroad now with like her friends and her boyfriend and everything and she gets introduced to a case where like two people were killed and everyone said it was a burglary gone wrong but one of the friends said because there were like seven of them total and then two got killed one of them said no one broke in so now one of those other people must have done it and this happened years and years ago so that's why it's more like cozy almost because it happened so long ago that the, it's not as suspenseful but there's always someone in these cases who don't want her to solve it or like they're the suspects you know now but it's years since it happened so there is still suspense so i'm very excited for this book the other book i'm going to read in this readathon i'm actually picking up from the library now because my hold just came in i recently finished a book called Ash Princess, and I thought it was a standalone. This always happens to me. I feel like this is so many readers' problems, but it is really a trilogy, and I rated the first book four stars, so now I want to continue on with the series, obviously, so I put a hold on it at my library, and I just was at the library yesterday picking up books, but my hold didn't come in, but today it did. So that's Lady Smoke, so after I'm done reading a cozy murder mystery, then I'll go and do a fantasy, and then if I have some extra time, because I know 12 hours isn't a lot, then I'm thinking about either reading The Grace Year, which is a dystopian book that I just got from my Goodwill for only two dollars, or um, what is it called? Defy the Night, which is another like fantasy. I think it's more like a young adult fantasy. There's romance as part of it as well, and the girl's like a thief, and then the boy is like the prince, and she's trying to steal like healing potions to help people because the there are so many people sick with this illness of some sort and the king and queen are kind of only keeping it for wealthy people so she's kind of like a robin hood where she's stealing it and then there's a little bit of romance with the prince so i'm excited to read all these books i probably won't finish them all in this video 12 hours isn't a lot but i'm hoping to just read a lot more this week and yeah so i'll see you after i get that book <laughs> I'm back and I got the book so now that I have that my plan is to go to a park nearby and just sit there and read some of this book for a little bit maybe for about an hour and just chill and hang out because it has been so hot outside the past couple of days and today it finally is like cloudy there's a breeze so it is perfect to read at a park again because i've not been able to do that it's just been too hot but i also brought because at that park that i'm going to there's a little library which is so cute and i just did an unhaul of some books and two of the books i brought today to put in that little library 
and then the other books I'm going to put in another one. So first is my second copy of The Hunger Games. I think some will be very happy when they find this in there. And then next is a book I got from the dollar store that was a thriller that was not very good, but maybe someone else will like it and it'll bring someone else joy. And we'll see if there's any books I want to take from the little library. Probably not, because normally not the best books get left in the little library, but we'll see. And I hope someone will enjoy these two books. Okay, I made a quick pit stop at the Starbucks in my Target to get a Paradise drink since it was almost snack time for me. Although, I like drinking them with straws, but this straw kind of ruins the whole vibe. It's so tall, but I don't care. But now, now we are going to the park. Okay, we're here, and I am honestly so surprised because there's like no one here. Did I miss something? Like, it's such a nice day out. Maybe because it's so cloudy, and it did have a chance of rain, but... We're going to try to read anyway. I don't think it's going to rain, and if it does, it's probably just going to drizzle. So first, I'm going to go little, to the little library. I parked right next to it and put in the books, and then I'm probably going to sit under um, one of the tables under the trees and read this for about an hour. It's 3.25-ish right now. I forgot my watch died. I was like, why are you not coming on? Um, where did my bookmark go? Oh, good thing I didn't even start this book. I just have it in the first page. But, so I'm going to read this for about an hour. I'll put on, like, a timer, and I'll update you guys after that. But first, to the little library. Definitely looking a little empty, so these two books will help it a lot. Okay. I'll put them right up here, front and center. And I do not see... any books that I want. So there we go! So it's been about an hour and three minutes and I got 73 pages into this book and the first three chapters. Wow, those were long chapters. Oh, because it's not really like, like some of them just go back in time. So it's kind of like six chapters really. I'm really enjoying this story before so far. I don't know why I said before. I really have enjoyed the setup. Ignore the lighting by the way. And I think I'm enjoying this mystery so far even more than the others because so basically this these type of books in the series there's like a part where it goes back in time to when the murder took place and then present day with stevie and all her friends and i've really been enjoying going back in time and getting to know these nine friends which is why it's nine liars as they're going to this one guy sebastian his house and they were playing like this this tradition that they have where they play a game of like hide and seek outside at night so it's like really late and they found everyone but two people and then those two people end up dead. And there was no one at the house but them and a gardener. So now I, and so that was in the past timeline so far. And then Stevie and her friends are going to London for like a little bit, or England, I don't think it's London exactly, to, um, because her boyfriend David is there and he got them like a whole little like, cu not cultural exchange program, like, study abroad program that's what it is for like a week so they're all going there and I mean you know she's going to try and solve this mystery so I'm excited to see what came next what comes next and I'll probably read a little bit more before I go to sleep tonight okay hello it's morning so that's why I look all like this but I was reading a little bit more I read a lot more last night too and I'm just around page 200 and it's starting to pick up whoa oh no it it fell okay I got my place <laughs> it's just starting to pick up in the present timeline because someone who was there for the murder in like 1995 just went missing so now it's picking up here not that nothing happened beforehand but it's like this is where things get serious so I'm going to keep reading now and it's been about two hours and 36 minutes I think of the 12 hours so yeah <laughs> Okay, it is Thursday night now, and I've had a lot less time than I thought that I would, so this 12 hours might take too long before I want to get out this next video. If not, it'll just be a failed 12 hours challenge, but anyway, we're at 4 hours and 15 minutes, and I'll probably still read more tonight, and I am on page, let's see, 
338 of Nine Liars. It is pretty good. It's just what I was expecting, which is like the series so far has been a four star series for me. So this is probably also going to be a four star book unless something goes completely off the walls and it either becomes better or worse. And I hope it will be worse. I hope it will at least just stick with the four stars, which is seeming to be what it is. And it's kind of what I expected from this book. But it's just a nice, good time trying to solve the mystery. It's a little bit slow moving. And I don't know if that's just because um, I forgot that the whole series was a little bit slower with like the suspense. I knew it was more of a cozy mystery feel, but it just doesn't feel as fast moving as some of the other ones. Maybe it was the last book was a little bit faster moving than this one, the one at the summer camp, but I don't know. I'm having a good time. I like how it flashes back to the past. I think that's really good, but for a while it didn't. It kind of just did interviews with the police with the people, and that was like the flashback. But I think we're getting a little bit flashbacked again because we just had another one. So, yeah. I'll update you guys probably tomorrow, maybe later tonight, but I wouldn't count on it. Okay, it's Saturday night now. I didn't really have a lot of chance to read yesterday, and I haven't really read much today because I haven't had the chance, but yesterday I did finish Nine Liars. I thought it was pretty good. It was like four stars, although I don't think that I could have guessed who actually did that based on the evidence we got. It all kind of connected, but it was very like loosely, and I feel like if there was like slightly more evidence put in there, it would have been more satisfying to like be like, oh that makes so much sense and like it somewhat did after they like said everything but it wouldn't have ever been something that I felt like I could figure out myself before like the story linked it all together if that makes sense but after I finished that then I started reading the dystopian book the grace year I'm only 28 pages into it it's pretty good so far like I, I'm not really far enough to judge it so I'll probably read more tonight and then I'll read some tomorrow. But I honestly, I don't think I'm going to finish the challenge. I think it's going to be a failed 12-hour challenge. Because, like, I had stuff going on. But I kind of underestimated um, or overestimated the amount of time I had for reading. So I'm only, like, six hours into this challenge. I know! Only six hours! But I read more some days this week. I mean, not the past two days because I've been busy. But some of the other days, I've read more than, like, I normally do in a day. So I'd call that a win. And didn't I finish? Yeah, I f did I finish? No, I finished one book and I started another book. And finishing one book in six hours, honestly, pretty good, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's where we are now. I'll update you later. Okay, so as I said in the last clip, I did not get this challenge like I did not I was not able to read for like 12 hours in the past few days but I did read for a little over half of it six hours and 38 minutes and I finished one book Nine Liars which is 445 pages and I got some pages into the grace year I got 70 pages into the grace year so overall even though I didn't get win this challenge, I'd call that a win in my book. Because I've seen all these people like doing the 24 hour reading challenges and I wanted to participate too. But I knew I didn't have as much time as that because with getting together with friends and doing some other things in the summer and um, getting ready to go to college, like I had some things to do. So I wanted to try and do 12 hours and I was like, oh, I'll just cut that time in half. But there was a lesson. Even if I have like one, like four days to read and I'm busy for like half of one day and like a lot of another day, like I, I think it was five days actually with today, but like I don't, I can't have 12 hours to read and all that. That's just not how my time management works. So I learned that and I had a lot of fun attempting this challenge, even if I also didn't get to the book that, like, I literally went to pick up at the library at the beginning of it. I have this for after the grace year, though. So, yeah. And also, during this challenge, I got a book for free. Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't planning on buying any more books or, like, getting any more books, but I went on this, I was going on this hike with my friends. And at this, like, hiking place, basically, like, you can't just type in, like, whatever game preserve because then it'll just take you to like some random place in that like whole area 
instead of like where I wanted, which was by the creek with like these different hiking paths with my friends. So I put that in and then I'm like, oh my gosh, like, where am I? I've never driven here myself because normally I would drive there with like my parents or whatever. And I got totally lost because my friends are trying to give me like the directions telling me where to go. And I like didn't know what. So I pulled into a driveway to like turn around and start going like the correct way. And then I see that driveway has a little library at the end of it. And I was like, what? I only know like little libraries at parks. Well, the two at the parks and I never knew there was another one there. Now, if I ever wanted to get back to it, I probably couldn't since I was completely lost and I was just driving aimlessly until I figured out where to go. But I looked in their thing, a little library. My friends were like, of course, I, I was telling them the story, like my car can have the phone on while I'm driving. So I was telling them the story and I heard one of my friends go, of course she stopped at the library. <laughs> But yeah, I found this book called The Wish. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. And it actually looked like so many of the books in little libraries, they look like they're really old books. And there's not many good, like, new ones. And I don't know if it's good. I think it's some sort of, like, summary romance of some sort with, like, dual timelines. Like, the girl when she was younger and now when she's, like, in her 20s. So, like, I'll try it one time and see. But apparently it's newer, too. Like, I looked at the date and I think it was published in, like, 2021. So... Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, tw September 2021. So yeah, maybe the person put it in there because it was really bad or maybe it will be really good. So who knows? Like I said before in my other videos, I'm not much into romance, but that came from this challenge. So yeah, even though, like I said before, I didn't win the challenge, I won it in my heart. So anyway, if you want to see more from me, um, make sure to like this video and then subscribe to the channel and comment down below if you've ever t attempted a challenge like this and if you won it or not and if you would want to do something like this in the future because I recommend it, but maybe start out with like less hours, maybe do like six hour reading challenge because if I did that from the beginning, then I would have won this challenge overall, not just in my heart, but yeah. I hope you have a guy. Okay. I hope you guys have a great day and stay tuned for a video this Wednesday. Bye!